call the uh, St. Cloud Metropolitan Transit Commission Board uh, to order. It is Tuesday, November 19th, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, let the um, uh, record reflect that all of, of the uh, cities are represented. All of the board members are here uh, today. Is there... Um, uh, you've got something that you added in there. Uh, so, so do we approve the... You're doing that before we approve the agenda? Let's um, approve the agenda first, and we'll just drop number three down to number er, right the first part of general business, okay. since that takes action. Uh, so uh, we'll so with that change, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Discussion. Seeing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Consent agenda items six through eight. So motion. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Carries. Open forum. Uh, anyone want to sign up? Anyone here? From the public? <laughs> we are all public, so. <laughs> uh, seeing no one, we'll go to general business. Uh, then we will start then with what would have been item number three, election of officers. Time of year again? Yeah. Well, should have done it back. Six months ago, so oh. I'm getting caught up now. Well, <laughs> that uh, retro. Uh, There's other the, more pressing issues. Right. <laughs> You'll be so okay with the way things are? Anyway, move the slate. So move. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify <clears throat> by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Um, item number nine under general business consideration of personnel policy. Good afternoon, commissioners. Uh, you're stuck with me for the next few items here. Uh, we had to make a change to uh, the jury duty policy. Um, just a, a, basically the intent is if, um, if an employee serves on jury duty, they just turn over whatever check that they receive from the county and then um, we make them whole or better than, right? So um, the biggest thing is the, the mileage reimbursement. We have listed in there that the employee would still get their mileage reimbursement, but they're already being made whole with their payroll, so we're taking that mileage reimbursement piece off of the policy. Okay. Oh, so used to they get mileage from the county, I assume. This is mileage from the county. So yeah. what we're saying is they can have that their mileage from the county, and we're saying no, nope, turn it over. Yeah. Just give us the check. We'll pay you as if you were still working here for your whole day. The only time that would change is if the check from the county was more than what they would have gotten paid here, then they'll be made whole, whichever better suits the employee. But they still get their mileage. No, not they under the That's what this one it. says, it, doesn't it? It's strict. It's scratched out. No, but it says they will receive jury duty to Metro. Regular, full-time, and part-time employees. Why wouldn't they get their mileage? So my they're getting paid more already. Yeah, than but, their regular jury. But they're going to a different work location. I, I'm just asking questions. Right? Yeah, but we don't have to pay them at all. Like, they don't yeah, have to. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they could take the $5 instead of the $15. Exactly, you're right. Exactly, or the $25. Whatever it is. Right. Yeah. Whatever. Yep. And so we're just That's saying, pretty generous. Yeah. So you pay them the full day's wages even? Correct. Though. Because it goes to jury three. duty pay. I've never. I have no I've idea. Never been on jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to either. It could be a three week jury. I mean, it could be. <laughs> Is it paid like a per day? It's, yeah, it's like fifteen dollars a day. Of fifteen dollars yeah, a day for the whole day. And then if you if you get cut, then they pay that um, prorated. So I think one day I got like six dollars, and then one day so they, if that's they. That's pretty. Doesn't seem like much of a so change then. That's pretty good. You'd want a big murder case that lasts a year, then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you would, though. Why really. <laughs> not? Well, yeah, then he gets sequestered to the Holiday Inn, and he gets right. taken off for some Let's be honest, right. no one wants to see Rick and their jury. <laughs> so, if I was the defendant, I wouldn't yeah. want to see Rick and the jury. <laughs> no. <laughs> Might as well just plead guilty right away. Right. You bring back the death penalty. Just you know, yeah. it's been a long time ago, 40 years ago or something, I did get jury duty. I and it said, 
for like June or something. I said, yeah, I can make that, that's no problem. Well then, a couple weeks later, they sent me a letter and said, because it's summertime, we're having hard people, can you do it for another month? And I said, I, well, yep, I can do it for two months. I never got called once. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there is, is there a motion to approve the policy as? Motion to approve. Second. Discussion, further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, carries. Adopted. Uh, number 10, consideration of resolution 2020-02 uh, depository and newspaper designation. Commissioners, this is again just a housekeeping item. We have to do this every year to um, designate and, and there's no changes. The depository and the newspaper will be the same as prior years. Moved. Second. Uh, moved and seconded. Any discussions? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, carries. Number 11, consideration of uh, fiscal, proposed fiscal year 2020 program of projects. Uh, commissioners, again, this is just the first step in our federal application process that we have to do. So we have to have published this and have a 30-day open public comment period for it. Um, the amounts are based on the same items that we have listed in our capital improvement plan that you had approved in July or August. No changes there. It's just kind of the first step for a public comment period. Do we ever get anybody that comments at those? Not since I've started. No, not even one. <laughs> not even one. Yeah. Moved to approve. Second. For the discussion. <coughs> seeing none, that's been moved in the second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, motion carries uh, adopted. Um, department updates. Um, number 11, fixed route operations update. Sporting the new beard. Commissioners, <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that don't know, uh, excuse me, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sean Pierce. I'm the new operations manager for Fixed Row. Um, 2019 update. <clears throat> um, this year, Pete Mugg was chosen <coughs> as the operator of the year uh, from MIPTA. This is the second year in a row that a Metro Bus operator has been chosen for the dishonor. Uh, Bob Brayman was chosen last year as Operator of the Year in 2018. We are in the process of updating all of the bus stop signs. The RIDE part of the sign is being covered up with a 7433 sticker. As the RIDE, a lot of people don't know what it is anymore. So, um, on June 21, we held the local rodeo at St. Cloud State University. Metrobus had 25 people participate in the rodeo. Four people were sent to uh, State Rodeo in Marshall, Minnesota. The Minnesota State Rodeo was held in Marshall on July 12th. Two operators that participated from fixed route placed second and seventh place. The fixed route operators that participated in State Rodeo did not qualify to go to the AFTA. National Rodeo in San Antonio, Texas. The two dial ride -right operators are participating in the state rodeo took first and third place. First place winner Todd Dessert qualified to go to the Nationals for CTAA and would be going to Louisville, Kentucky, May 31st to June 4th. Uh, the fixed road ridership saw a 7% decline for fiscal year 219. We'll be working on some route restructuring to bring some of the changes um, in the routes in 2020. Uh, the total service miles that fixed route operators operated in 2019 were 1,293,966. North Star Link. Ridership on North Star Link was pretty much steady in 2019. There was a 1% decline in overall ridership. Total service miles on the North Star operated 2018 were 174,446 miles. The Connects. Connects ridership grew rapidly and appears to be shown following the trends of the old Route 32. Um, and we are discussing what's going on with that. Wasn't that to come to this meeting? I thought last <coughs> month we talked about a proposal or a, a review would be coming on Connects this month. Well, so we met yesterday internally. Um, 
or, or um, trying to think outside the box and kind of take a look at some different data. So we're actually going to meet again right away on Monday um, just to kind of come up with some other alternative ideas on, you know, take a look at other data trends and that kind of stuff, see membership trends and when we started Route 32, what's changed with 31. So we're just kind of taking a look at other things to see once really if this is the best solution for that area or if there's something else that might be better. And when do you think that would come to the board? It would have to, it has to come next month because the okay. pilot is only um, slotted to go through December yeah. 31st. And so it has to. Okay. Uh, replacement buses. We have three <coughs> new replacements scheduled coming in 2020. We will be specking those out for early date of sometime in 21 or early 22 for replacement. Just on so those replacement buses, there's been some comments on the seats. Are we are we looking at those so we're not sliding off of them? If, if that's a well, not for the fixed route, yeah. that's for the dollar ride. So, so the comments of for all of them. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. Or but the seats are different. I know. Then, oh, the, these are different than the other ones. So the they, seats on the fixed route are different than the dollar ride buses, smaller buses. And the other ones are the slippery ones. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, software. We're diligent working on the new scheduling software. It's been a process that we're near the completion of the project when we expect full implementation in early 2020. Questions? That um, study that we approved a while back, when's that finish? The overall study? The feasibility study? Yeah. Yep, that we're waiting on tech memo number four to come through and then we'll be able to bring that forward as well. We haven't gotten the final from SRF, but all of the work is complete on that. We're just kind of waiting for them to, we're going back and forth with the drafts to make sure okay. that the stuff is clarified and all that. But the, the study itself is complete. Now it's just a matter of finalizing it. We'll then you have a percent presentation. Yeah. yeah. Just to comment back on those seats, you know, I think you got we got to be a little careful because dial a right or I don't know if I'm politically correct, but for more for handicapped people. And so can they slide across the cloth seat or whatever? I mean, I understand the reason for a slippery seats is some people have to slide to get in. They don't stand up and sit down and they slide to get in because they're they're not able to do it the other way. So are we going to get heck if we do, if we do them too coarse, you know, too rough, too heavy? They can't slide on them. So, so, so what we've looked at doing so that the five new buses are the ones that are the issue. Um, from what we had before to what we switched to with this five new bus order that we just received and put into service. I think the last one went into service um, September, if I remember correctly. Um, we switched the the seat material, and that was because we wanted some seat material that was easier to clean, easier to see if uh, we had stains, easy if there were, uh, easier to see if there were things on the seat that need to be cleaned up because we've received quite a few complaints where people sit down on the seat and they're not able to see that there's whatever on the seat um, and have sat in. So, so we always look at these seats and we think about, okay, what's gonna be easiest for to clean them right. and what's going to be easiest for material wise as far as mm. uh, grip and, 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 and the best way to go about it. Now in this situation, um, and I would welcome any of the, the board to try the seats and come sit on them, um, we recognize that the material is different from previous seats but um, it's also, we're going to change it. Um, we're we're going to add some things in place. We've had zero issues with people sliding off the seats. Um, the seat belt and, and the things that we apply, the securement that we, that we provide to secure the passengers prohibits that from happening. Um, but we have definitely heard the complaints and heard the suggestions and so um, we're switching to a different seat material with our with our next bus order. And on this five bus order that we received, we're, we're putting some things on that, that will um, rectify the impression that the seats are slippery and that there's other 
we're putting some we're looking at putting some armrests on there um, some things that will hopefully remedy the impression that people are going to slide off the seats yeah. so we're, we're doing our best to remedy it um, yeah, no, I was just, just curious and I understand that you know the, the smoother they are the easier they are to maintain and keep right. clean and that you right. can see it that cloth gets dirty and that's that's a lot of work people so. required for everybody in a dollar yes correct okay so how many individuals complained about the slippery seats uh, Individuals, not complaints, right? Individuals. Um, three. And how many riders do we have? Uh, that's a good day. Yeah, I think 600 and some rides provided per day on a normal day. Okay, Maybe. so you're, you're talking thousands compared to three. Yep. Right. Okay. Dave, Dave, I, price? Squeaky wheel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dave, I had a question. You said you're going to change the material going forward? We're changing the material. You're on not the going back to cloth, though, are you? It's it's called a it's a repel. It's called um, it's a it's a similar so the same company that we have the seats in the five bus order makes these seats. Okay. But it's a repel seat. It's more of like a, um, I'm trying to think how I could explain it. Um, like a, it almost looks like a it, yeah. It would be similar to that material on the back of that uh, that seat there. But but it's meant to. That's why they call it repel. It's meant okay. to rip, stains will pool on it. Um, it's okay. meant to. to keep that out uh, because what was happening before we were spending forty five hundred dollars a year to have a company come in and clean all of our seats um, and so I, I, I would I would add a disclaimer that of those three people that complained um, the three people that complained also stated that there was um, one person that encouraged them to complain um, so that seat that, there has the Anyone that sat in that seat complained about that? I that we're aware of? Can neither <laughs> confirm nor deny that. <laughs> Just trying to that's limit our options. Slippery one. That's <laughs> the best of my knowledge. <laughs> my memory fails me at this time. Well, it's, um, yeah, it's good that you're looking at You didn't ignore it. That's right. But, um, yeah, with seat belts, I just don't understand how that would work. Okay. Any other uh, updates? You got anything? Right. Well, on behalf, just one thing in closing. Uh, today we had a little debrief celebration, you know, with the 50-year planning committee. So I just want to say, on behalf of the board again, in front of the board, on behalf of Metrobus, I'd like to take a show my gratitude of thanks for planning such a wonderful event. I mean, the event was top notch. I mean, everything went without a hitch. The food was great. As far as you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was fun. It was a long event. We want to thank you for keeping uh, Ryan out of that process. That's why it was fun. That's why I was going to turn it on. The hardest thing I had to do was to stay out. <laughs> you know, thanks to Paul. Did it write the out. jokes for that comedian? <laughs> no. 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 That was all Nate's planet. <laughs> but just thank good. you. Thank the committee. It was well planned. You know, Paul, thank you for keeping me out. But it was the food was great. The, the giveaways were great. It's just the whole event. The whole night was great. We just wish that we would have had a more, we would have had more of a public turnout through the Saturday morning of, but we can't control the public you know, to come to our event. But we still had about 30 people, 35 people show up to the open house, but mm -hmm. we just wish that we would have had 135 people. Mm -hmm. But those people that came and joined us. Yeah. People that came and joined it, so that was, was great. Good for them, so yeah, it was the education experience mm -hmm. too as well, to see how Metrobus handles business behind the scenes. People just see a bus pull up on the street, pull up at the bus stop, but actually coming here, seeing a bus on the hoist, seeing the mechanics working, changing tires, changing brake jobs, doing brake jobs. It was just a different eye opener for them some of the kids and some of the adults that were in, that was in attendance as well. So yeah. that was really great. But on behalf, again, thank you guys. It was well planned out. And 50 years from now, I'll be on the committee for sure. <laughs> I'll make sure that I'll have a great, great beer. Great. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I'm I'm sure you'll be outside. I don't think yeah. no. You'll be in the dialer right now. <laughs> <so. laughs> yeah, sliding all over the place. <laughs> we'll see who complains. There. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all I have. Just wanted to uh, say. Well, that. thank you for that. Thanks for no thanks. Yeah. Um, well, uh, is there a motion to adjourn? I think oh, second. second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Aye.